Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West where I have managed to make some time to play video games <laughs> today. So we'll see, we'll see how far I get. But yes, we're gonna go run in, we're trying to make new friends and also uh, get Demeter. I'm sorry if uh, I'm a little off, I didn't feel very well this morning. So, but hopefully things go well. Oh, this place is a maze. According to the map, there should be another exit further in. Just stay close. Lead the way. All right, I need to remember it's been a couple days, but... I can't believe you actually got us in. I was dreading having to stay here any longer with those soldiers. Oh? The way they slaughtered the barbarians that approached the site. Well, it was like they enjoyed it. Most of my people aren't like that, I promise. If you say so. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this is the dead end or the way I'm supposed to go. Okay, good, dead end. <laughs> I assumed it was a dead end. No, not the battery levels being low. I don't want to stand up to plug it in. No. But I'm also super stoked to be able... I'm trying to... Okay, I'm super stoked to be able to get rid of these vines on the flowers that are really annoying, which also indicates to me that I'll have reason Fire to clean. go back. Better stand back. You know, it's not gonna be like, and now, end game! Hopefully. I feel like, well, that was loud. Yeah, yes, I told you to back up. I guess I didn't tell you to be quiet. Or, uh, not be quiet, to plug your ears. I was... Not what I meant to say at all. There has to be a way out of here. Wow, I wonder if this is a clue. Okay. Oh my gosh, Demeter totally wrote these. Forests were set on fire, but hour by hour they fell and faded, and the crackling trunks extinguished with a crash, and all was black. The brows of men by the despairing light wore an unearthly aspect as if as by fits the flashes fell upon them some lay down and hid their eyes and wept and some did rest their chins upon their clenched hands and smiled and others hurried to and fro and fed their funeral piles with fuel and looked up with mad disquietude on the dull sky the pile of a past world and then again with curses cast them down upon the dust and gnashed their teeth and howled the wild birds shrieked and terrified did flutter on the ground and flapped their useless wings the wildest brutes came tame and tremulous came tame and tremulous and vipers crawled and twin them twined themselves among the multitude hissing but stingless they were slain for food and war which for a moment was no more did glut himself again a meal was brought with blood at each shade sullenly apart gorging himself in the gloom no love was left dang it not a clue unless can i was kind of hoping that would be a clue what's that thing in the wall what thing in the wall oh that one I'm glad she did that because this is why part of the come on back why am I not I'm like backing up I am too stupid on my own to see these sometimes why is it not please Hello. through here it also didn't show up and glow, I think, which is a bummer. Dislike that. I could probably stand up here, but it feels like I can't. Oh, a dead end. Maybe we should try. Oh and my gosh. Why are we in the piping? Surely to be another way. Or maybe the game means me to listen to her. Oh, you can stand. We haven't tried that smaller tunnel over there. This over here? 
Why can't I have friends around all the time pointing stuff out to me? I actually really like this because I'm bad at seeing According it. To the map. The exit should be this way. I'm impatient. So if I had somebody tell me all the time where stuff was, or if Aloy told me where stuff was... Oh yeah! Dang it. Hmm. Oh, must have taken a wrong turn. Oh, I know. I did it on purpose. For the goodies. Is there... No? Okay. I'll be glad to get back above ground. We've only been down here. Oh, I did go to a. It feels like a tomb down here. I did go to a cave the other day. It was very interesting. Uh, I don't usually go to caves. They don't. I don't have a ton out where I usually live in the desert. But I'm currently in the Midwest, and they apparently have loads of caves out here. So it was really interesting. Went in. Basically, you know, as fresh as a baby, being able to be like, "Tell me all you know." I did teach the guide one thing on accident, but that was concerning Chert, toolstone for Native American uh, tool making. And so, and we were in limestone caves, and Chert is. Uh, oh my gosh, is that one of those? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's one of those. Oh! That can't be good. It's one of those they fly dread wings. from the complex several times a day. Only the ancestors know why. Oh, well, the ancestors are dead, Elva. Of course. How else could they be ancestors? Uh, <laughs> She's like that's that's what I was that's what I was saying. Looks like we have more pressing concerns. Follow my lead. Dun, 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 dun. She's like that's what it's like. It's like you know it's like the saying only God knows. You know it's like well no I guess it's not really like that <laughs> but you know I don't know it's similar. <laughs> only the ancestors know. Well obviously you can only be an ancestor when you are dead. Oh my gosh a a, a puzzle. A point of interest. She sabotaged the project. You know how many lives could have been lost over an affair? Oh, we're working to see what data can be recovered. In the meantime, we spent weeks chasing results that have gone nowhere. Kachansky's project could have been the answer. Can we remember that Dr. Kachansky's libido played a big part in this? Not that big a part. Not helpful. Agrofi, can we please concentrate on the plant propagation, not human reproduction? Precisely, it's our job, our responsibility to deliver these crops, which is why I'm reassigning Dr. Samuelson to another team. She sabotaged a project and she's staying, and we will have to make up all the time we lost. How? We're already working nights and weekends, which has cut down the levels of infidelity. Not helpful at Crofty. Charles Darwin, a man who dares uh, to waste one hour of time and not discover the value of life, and we hold so much life in our hands, so we do we have to finish the work. Dr. Albert Einstein, two things are infinite, universe and human stupidity. Dr. Samuelson has proved that. Surely we can agree she has to go. She's staying. That comes all the way from the top. Pharaoh, of course, not the kind of fellow to put ethics ahead of results. Enough, all of you. Your dejections are noted. Please do not persist unless you want me to take the messaging system offline. Oh, that's so frustrating. Again, another problem. Well, this is actually plagues all things, but this is specifically a problem here with the private enterprise. I don't know who slept with who, but I have worked with a man once who did sabotage um, an entire project's worth of data uh, because he was mad that uh, he got fired for being unethical, for sexual harassment of coworkers, and for um, machines. We can fight them, or try to sneak past. Data for that machine yet? Your call. I better look at more cultures. Shh, 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 shh. Um for, um, yeah, sexually harassing co-workers and, um, for being unethical with data collection. Um, and he was mad he got fired for that, so he took all the data from the last project he ran and took, like, ran with it, essentially, and never got in trouble for it. It's really frustrating. That was the part that honestly frustrated me the most, is that we'd spent, like, a year being, like, this guy is, like, basically like self-sabotaging projects um being unethical with data ha you know handling and uh and he never got in trouble for that not really it wasn't until he got accused of sexual harassment that he was that he was ousted and i was like well good i'm glad we did that at least but his mishandling of people and resources and, like, you know, archaeological data, I feel like also should have been a good reason to get fired. Because everybody always had to pick up his slack. 
It's frustrating. It's amazing. It's amazing the like inertia of like business, I guess you could say, where it's just like it's so much easier, air quotes, to not fire people. Um and instead just like not even just like reassign them, but like just keep them on for whatever reason. I'll never understand it. Dang it. We have no choice. Oh, are you gonna be alright? Hang on. What are you? Fire. I don't know what to do with you. I missed. Oh, you know what I have now? You know what I have now? Hold on, I have new... Oh my gosh, can I just run through and override that long leg? What, are they, are they like fighting each other? What is going on? Oh my gosh, do you see that? This is insane. I feel like they're fighting each other. Look at that thing, fight me. Anyway. Hang on. Ow. I am trying to do something very stupid. Please do it. Did that help? Kind of help. Oh, jeez. I'm stuck. Oh, no. <laughs> this is wild, actually. Okay, anyway. Uh, weapon. I got this bow. You remember this bow? Let's see. Let's see. Whoa. Is this? Oh, it takes a bit. Takes a bit. Takes a bit. That makes sense. Oh, I'm scared. Oh. You know, it would be su it would be much easier if I could actually get rid of a uh, relief. If I could get rid of like they're like, oh, get the cleansing potion, and I'm like, well, I gotta like run around and search for it. I'm I'm not in the like, I don't have the time for that. Okay. Get that one, get that one, get that one, get that one. Oh, it's chasing me! It's attacking me because I'm closer! It's got the targeting thing on it. Oh, I think it's attacking that watcher right now. Ow! Jump off, jump off, jump off! <laughs> I was just trying to keep an eye out for things. Oh my goodness. Pain subsiding. Trying to get its tail. No! I'm stuck in whatever this is. That's cool. Awesome. Love this for me. Okay. Will the ammo help? Probably if I uh, wasn't running for my life. I hate long legs. Can I, can I still run by and get that long leg? Nope. Maybe? I think it's because the long leg didn't know where I was. I need... Yep. Need more. Oh, come on! No, <laughs> that was the last one I had. Let's change.
Oh, come on. I'm probably too close to this. I'm probably going to get caught in the blast radius. Oh, come on. There we go. On to me. Okay, there we go. I was like, oh, geez. We are back on slightly more familiar territory. I don't even have to kill all these things, but now that they've attacked me, it's become personal. But we're back in the fami more familiar territory of me sneaking around. Oh, you're weak to that. I don't have a trap for that, unfortunately. Well, I do, actually. Not that. That one. Mm -hmm. I wish I could throw these little ones. I, I would put it in the um, Adelaide thing that I have, the spear thrower. I would love to put a trap in there. Huck it out. I don't know if the watcher is the watcher is still around. That's okay. I'll I'll get it eventually. Tee hee. Nice. <laughs> I love it when they walk right near a. A hiding spot for me. Makes my job infinitely easier. We're still undetected. I've never seen anyone fight machines like Like a you. moron. Yes. <laughs> no one <laughs> it was just kinda of fun getting back into the combat swing of things, like, I don't know. Uh, do I have to... Yeah. Oh, well. Doesn't really help, does it? Oh, it does. Nice. Okay. Come on up, friend. The entrance to the complex. Looks like it's locked off. Okay. What do you want me to do about it, then? A vent. Okay. I think I can pull it open. Let Got me pull it. from the side. I'm right behind you. Not more vents. God, this one's a puzzle. Demeter. Is anybody gonna get me? See enemies. Maybe we can get through that hatch on the ground. It looks like the one we used at the first station. There's consoles up here too! But no way to get to them. You stay put. I'll see what I can find. I do wish Aloy would accept help. Oh my gosh, it's, a, it's an actual puzzle. Maybe. There's battery packs. There has to be another way to reach those consoles. Aha! Hang on, first I just wanna look. I need a data key for this lock. Yeah. I think I can move these things. Oh, there's something back there. Okay, I'll move it. There we go. Huh. There's some space back there. Supplies. Whoa! But no data key. No, but I, I need money, so this is great. Why would you store stuff back there? Seems like it would get in the way. 
Like when you're trying to shut these bays, these battery storage uh -huh. things. Oh, hey, key. This should help. A key, a key. Okay, maybe not a huge puzzle. Good, because I'm not, not, not for that. Let's see what's in this one. This one won't budge. Oh, okay. Easy. Maybe one of the others. Yeah, 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 we're good. We got a key. It's not like you're the Sphinx or anything, there Demeter. Stop oh, giving me puzzles. That looks like some sort of conveyor rig. You think you can move it over to me? Yeah. If you can hop on top of it, I can get you to those consoles. Oh. Exactly. Okay. Which, like, those ones up there? Oh, I guess she could get around over there. Instead of me making my friend do the boring part, I get to do the boring part. How cool. <laughs> well, come on. Just follow the curve. Aloy. Hold it there. Let me oh, just... You... Oh, you have to... I jumped on top. You have to jump on it first. Okay, I see. She can't do Hold like on. me. Where I just jump as things move. Can you do it? That's good. Jumping over. Wow. <sighs> Made it. I'm at the console. Wait. There's data here. A lot. Wish I could see it. But it's blocked. I don't know. Something's restricting access. You need my DNA. If I can't get past it, my mission here is I doomed. actually don't think my DNA would do much oh, good but here. I'll help if I can, okay? But first we have to get out of here. Right. We need to open the hatch. Okay, let's see. Okay. I'm unlocking a storage unit. Oh. There should be a power cell inside. Then you need to find a way into the generator room. Okay, I'm on it. Was it this one? No, okay. I gotta move this. I found the energy cell. Now find a way into the generator room. This is so weird to be on this side of things. What? What? Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, I... I... There is the generator room... Doesn't look like the generator's in this room. This has to be somewhere else. That does require a battery. I don't think I can crawl around with this. Yeah. I I am confused. I don't know what you want from me, game. Hey friend, tell me what you want from me. Can I throw this? No? I mean, it's in here. Oh my gosh, just, just go up the fresh. Why is it? Oh. There we go. Oh, okay. I had matter on my spear to do the trick. Um, Aloy, would. He <laughs> would you mind warning me next time you decide to uh, uh blow up a wall? I'll uh try. We're used to operating on our own. I apologize. See Aloy though, it's nice to have okay. a friend. That brought power back to the doors. You can reach me now. On my way. Because they can help you do things that require two people. Wow. Okay. We need to operate both consoles simultaneously to open the hatch. I'll get to the other console. You stay here. Ready when you are. Okay, you ready? On two. One, two. Commencing adamantine reef vulnerability test scenario 12C15. Eh? What?
Okay, that's where we need to go. Yeah, I was like, this sounds dangerous. What? No, 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 no. How do I shut this thing off? Oh, good. We just... <laughs> What is this? The end of the world? That's how the world ended. Test complete. Adamantine reads structural integrity. Uncompromised. What did we just see? Did it stop? How convenient. Alva. Let's meet below. I'm gonna share a file with you, okay? Test log. Um, uh, I think it's Tuesday. The second? Who cares? I'll say this for the end of the world. It's jam-packed with irony. We developed biomass conversion here. Infinite food for infinite machines. And now we're racing against time to find something to give them indigestion. Well, it works. War machines won't be able to eat the reeds. But can we deploy them in time? I don't understand. Your ancestors? They were wiped out. Your legacy didn't tell you that? The time of ashes. But most of the data about that is lost or forbidden. Well, they created machines that consumed all life. You just saw how. It's a miracle anything survived. I don't want to know this. This is not why I'm here. I need the wisdom of my ancestors to help save my people, not forbidden knowledge of their sins. I need to find something that helps, something to bring back. The overseers will punish me, or even worse, people will die. Do you understand? My family, my sister. I left her when she was 14. Already you could see her bones. They will starve. Alva. Alva, I get it. I do. It's hard to explain, but you and I are working toward the same goal. And if I succeed, your people won't need any data. Things will just... They will get better. But even if I believe you, my people won't. I need to bring something back. How do you even get okay. back at this point? Then we'll go to Test Station Ivy. And if I can find a way to kill those vines, then I will have access to the data core. What I need is in there. I'm pretty sure that if I take it, it will unblock access to all the data that this place has. And that will give you something to bring home. I'm not sure I understand. But every secret makes its own maze. A diviner must persevere. Go on. I'll follow. I sure hope she doesn't try to steal the meter from me. We need to keep moving. Test station Ivy can't be far off. You know what I mean? She's like, she'll like decide, oh, this is actually what I need. And it's like, well, she's actually not any good to you without, you know, Gaia. The meter's only useful to me, really, at this point. Demeter can't save you on her own. Oh, uh, but yeah, that's there's a lot going on. Holy cow, imagine being the one who actually developed the biomass, like, conversion process, right? But, like, this is the problem, is it's like, there was no oversight. Ted Farrell kept saying, no, we don't need oversight. And so, like, in, in something like this, you would, you would be making, like, 
the alternative, right? Like a biomass conversion thing that eats life, eats organic life, you would be simultaneously testing something that could shut it down or including fail-safes in it. But as we learned in uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, they purposefully didn't include any fail-safes into it. For what, because they just, I don't know, they, they, they advised it, but Ted Farrow was like, no, it's fine. And it's like, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Like what? Because he didn't want he didn't want there to be a back door for people to like be able to like use it for themselves, and not because of the moral implications, but because of the profit implications. He didn't want someone to steal his his tech. Oh, letting one man have enough money to run the world just is such a stupid idea. <laughs> such a stupid thing that can happen. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and call this one here. It's probably not too short, but. We'll see. You guys will know but faster than I. <laughs> but uh, thank you all so much for watching. Sorry if things are a little off. I'm still feeling a little off right now. But hopefully I'll get back in the swing of things soon. But thank you all for your patience. I appreciate it a lot. And uh, really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons. To all my patrons. But to especially Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special shout out to Christopher, my tree tier patron. Thank you so, so much for your support. I very much appreciate it. You guys are very patient with me. And I appreciate the support. I really do want to give an extra special shout out to just pay my Patreons in general, because it's not some, Patreon's not something I could do, not something I thought I could do um, before, really. Like, I just didn't think it would be a thing, but, like, I appreciate those of you that are there, like, a lot. I really do. Um, thank you so much. Every little bit counts and helps me to survive in this crazy world where I just run around in my vehicle and stay with people who are nice to me. <laughs> so thank you so much again, and I hope to see you all in the next video.